Oh, oh, shoot. Oh. Um, okay. Ready? That's a cell phone. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to translate um, this pentagon. So the first thing we need to do before we even translate the pentagon is we want to go ahead and plot what the pentagon looks like. Let's not do that right now. Let's go ahead and take out the homework so you can write this down, OK? Then, we, then we'll go and do that. Then let's take out a sheet of paper so we can write it down, OK? Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is let's go ahead and plot these points, all right? And guys, if you get stuck with any one of our transformations, um, at least just plot the points and let's label them, right? It's going to be very hard to do any of these problems if we don't have these points correctly labeled. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's plot each one of these points. So I first want to have negative 1, negative 2. That's I'm going to label D. Next one I have is positive 2, negative 1. That I'll label as E. Then I have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2. That I'm going to label as F. Then I have 4, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That point I'm going to label as G. And then I have H, which is 1, comma, negative 4, which I'll label as H. OK? So does everybody see what that looks like right there? And the main important thing when doing a problem like this, guys, is we want to make sure we label each and every one of our points. All right? Don't just plot, do not put a figure up there. I'm just, are you writing this down? Take, write down that figure, all right? And make sure you label each one of these points. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to apply the transformation by the vector negative 1, comma 5. So what that is telling us is when we're using this transformation vector, that's telling us we need to move, shift, slide, translate this uh, figure by uh, the vector of negative 1, 5. So what is that really telling us? Negative 1, 5 tells us to shift our figure one unit to the left. So the negative 1 tells us to shift the whole figure one unit to the left. And then the 5 tells us to shift 5 units up, right? So the first term is kind of like your x coordinate is telling you, sneeze this come on. It's going to tell you to shift left or right. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. There we go. <coughs> and then the 5 is going to tell you to go positive or negative if it's either up or down. Um, all right, so another way that I want to show you guys to do this is, and one way to kind of help you, we know we're going to be moving everything um, left 1, up 5. So sometimes what I like to do is start with our transformation vector. And let's graph what would that transformation look, vector look like from 0. So if I went negative 1, up 5, This is what we call the transformation vector. Does everybody see that? That is what we call the transformation vector. That is the direction and distance that we're going to move the whole pentagon. Okay? This whole pentagon is going to move, be moved in that direction and in that length, in that distance. So now what I can do is I'm going to apply the transformation vector to each one of my points. So remember, all it's telling you to go is left 1, up 5. Left 1, up 5. Left 1, up 5. Uh, guys, I shouldn't be hearing what, what I'm hearing. Left 1. Up 5. Left 1, up 5. No. 1, 2, 3, 4. Left 1, up 5. OK. Well, 1, 2, so yeah, well, it's not the best in the world. But you guys can see my purple has now been taking this, and I've shifted it up. So now we just go and label our points, e prime, f prime, g prime, 
H prime and D prime. Okay? So again, what I'll remind you guys is what I did is I took my transformation vector, took the transformation vector, and that's what I applied to each and every one of my points. Okay? Sense? Questions? Good. Sarah, does that help?